first up, we want to deal with this uh, beautiful chord progression that uh, George has uh, bestowed upon us. Uh, it starts out with a B chord, and I like to play it here. The strings are a little bit brighter than if you play it up here. And uh, it just sounds sweeter to me right there and connects with the uh, G chord rather nicely. <laughs> So you can see that pretty clearly on the tab, but that's a definite little rhythm that he has going the way he uh, paces those notes. And then we're into uh, the basic chord progression, which is really sweet, of course. And uh, I like to play the G as an open G as opposed to a bar chord because then it sounds a little bit more distinctive to my ears when you do hit the seventh. I like that. It really uh, kind of brings out the dominant seventh. In the rhythm department, I'm just, just keep it chill. Again, it's an all things must pass track. So there's a lot of layering of different things coming in and out of the mix, but uh, just kind of keep your strumming loose and uh, relaxed. <laughs> minor 7th to a C sharp minor 7th. So we're moving from G, open G, G dominant 7th, G sharp minor 7th, and then finally C sharp minor 7th, okay? What I do right there is I take my pinky off and then that becomes a C sharp minor seventh. And this is kind of cool because it kind of catches a little bit of the piano part instead of just doing a sort of strum along version. And that can be a little bit tricky to pull off if you're not used to it, but a little bit of practice will make it happen. capturing a little bit of that cool piano in there. This is just an A chord. And then an inverted D chord. Back to the A chord. And that sounds really nice, very sweet. So we have... chord back to C sharp minor and back to G sharp minor back to C sharp minor again D major to A and then you start all of that over one more time into the uh, B section of the song. And as a note, uh, the section that I'm going to be covering right here is exactly what is played underneath the uh, slide guitar solo, okay? So here we go with the next section. <laughs> As 
you can see, the next section isn't too uh, difficult to play. We've got an E major to a D major. You can kind of hear that on the recording, buried beneath the big Phil Spector production. Classic D stuff, right? I'm adding my pinky, taking it off, and then releasing the middle finger as well. So we have... sharp minor, B minor, G dominant seventh, right back to the intro. So let me run that uh, little section down again. So let's talk about a couple of uh, the fills that kind of stand out on this. Now, if you listen to this thing on headphones, again, it's a massive production, and um, you can just hear little guitars kind of popping in and out of the mix. But there's a couple of them that really stand out, of course. And uh, one of them is uh, that uh, intro fill that uh, probably Clapton plays into each verse. And as a note, he phrases it a little bit differently each time, even though the notes are exactly the same. But as a note on the recording, uh, I just played it with the same phrase each time to uh, to keep it simple. But feel free to mosh it up and kind of, you know, just give it a little bit different feel rhythmically each time. And I use my fingers to kind of grab that double stop. So you're just taking both of those strings with you. Slide them both, then using a finger in your right hand, whichever one you like, and a pick. And again, uh, you can break up the phrasing on that like it does on the recording. It's never played exactly the exact same way each time. Exactly the exact same way. <laughs> there you go. Now, another fill that really stands out on the recording to me is the second time you hit that C sharp minor chord uh, in the verse, the first time in the song. So I recorded it here uh, for this tutorial as well. And you can actually add that into the chord if you want. So you would play it like this. Um, I just thought I'd add it in in case you wanted to uh, add it to the picture, okay? And then there's a really tasty fill that uh, is played through uh, Leslie's speaker cabinet. I just used some thick phasing to kind of emulate the sound, but it's on that B section part. <laughs> It's right over that first E chord. So you can see what I did there was I hit the E chord and just let that top E string ring and you can play the lick right over that. I thought I'd add that in there as well in case you want to add it to uh, your own mix of this because, hey, it sounds pretty sweet. So let's talk about that uh, gorgeous slide solo, another classic, beautiful slide solo from Harrison. Um, it's not too difficult to play if uh, you're pretty handy with a slide. Uh, he's got a unique style, of course, and his pitch is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so I'll walk you through it phrase by phrase, uh, nice and slow with the tab up on the screen. So here's the first couple of licks. 
So again, playing that nice and slow. Three notes in a row without picking again. And then we pop up to the 14th fret, where on the, all of this is on the B string right now. And again, you've got three notes with one stroke of the pick. Nice and slow. And then we have... Same idea, right? Uh, the first three notes are picked. Then strike it again at 15 and slide three notes. And that's 15 on the E string. So what happened right there is after 15 on the E string, you strike 15 on the B string. I know it's hard to see with the slide. And then on the B string, as you can see from the tab, we're sliding from 12 to 16. And then 14 on the first E string. There you have it, an absolutely gorgeous slide solo from uh, George. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. It's one of my favorite Harrison songs, and uh, it's uh, really fun to get into it and uh, figure out the bits and pieces.